Yep. I seem to have that issue a lot. Quite a bit, actually. Oh, there goes the fluffy one. <laughs> there we go. I'm good sitting here, so. I'm good. All Hi. right, guys. Obviously, we're playing a new game. Yeah, something Hungry. new this time. So, we have our reasons for this time. This is Hungry Shark World. I've actually played it on the mobile. I've never played it, so I get to see what he does. I got pretty far in that one. Um, I've also got it on my Switch as well, and this is the PS4 version. We also just saw the Meg. That's kind of why we're playing. Why not? I was looking to see if we could play that, but... Why is... Oh. Uh, it's because it's on the loading screen, and you got to deal with this. No, I don't want... No. No. Go away. Okay. Oh, so you get to build a shark. Not really build the shark, it's just you get to select your shark. These are the only two I've unlocked so far. That's because I went through all the missions with this one, the poor beagle. You get to add little accessories to them to help. Hmm. This is the area that I enjoy the most. These are little tools and gadgets. Uh, because I haven't unlocked any yet. I will eventually unlock that one. I got him on a moustache. <laughs> Extra gold. These are the bonuses I have. Witch Doctor set. So that's the uh, necklace. Nice. Reduces health drained by 1%. Very important. That one increased my health by 2%. Nice. Then, of course, I'm for some reason wearing a tourist sarong. It's always sarong for any guy to wear one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You should pro <laughs> Sorry guys, I couldn't resist. <laughs> okay, let's get to the All right, next the game. Now I've already done all the missions. The thing is I'm dealing with actually let me go back. I'm gonna go with the blue shark. So let's see. Extra points, survival bonus, or eat streak. I'd go with the extra point. Or survival bonus. So oops. Crap. I do this every time I play. <laughs> I always forget how to uh, add items on, so... Square. Yeah. Oh, this right here is a little other small sharks you can have with you. Nice! Fish and a They beat the uh, dapper dolphin dudes. Yeah, they're easy to kill. Okay. But my shark right now is at level one. So I gotta level him up a little bit before I can go after that. Nice. Oops. Wrong button again, sorry. Still used to- I was playing Switch earlier. Yeah, I've done that too. Same shape buttons. I know. <laughs> you really should fix that. It doesn't help that everything's different. In different spots. The cutest of the sharks. Ah, uh, it's debatable. Ooh. Yeah, it does that. Every time. Come here. Come here. I just want to eat you. <laughs> it won't hurt much. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo. I can't eat people in this one. I've actually done a run where I didn't eat anyone. Yeah. Come here, birds. And up. Bird! Nice. The only problem is that uh, divers here will try to kill you. Hey, hey. And other sharks, too. Come here. Yeet, quit that! <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, three times. Three tries. Come here, Mahi Mahi. Crabs. I've got crabs! This is a good kind of crab, though. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is wrong with you? I feel like a dork today, what can I say? Obviously. Hey. Well, as we were saying, we uh, in, the, in the title of today's episode, we actually just recently saw the movie The Meg. And uh, beforehand, I had actually, years ago, read the book. I know nothing. So she went in blind. I know it's a shark movie, that's about it. Uh, big ass shark movie. Sharks, really. 
Yeah, we found out later. I thought there was only. I thought they were gonna stick closer to the book. Um, uh, spoilers, by the way. We are gonna go in this spoiler territory right off the bat. Uh, yeah, they're actually in the book now. It happened both in both cases. There were two sharks in both the book and the movie. However, the death of one shark did not happen as soon as it should have in the the uh, movie. Yeah. In the books, it happens much sooner. Actually, technically speaking, there were three, three or four sharks, because when you think about it, the ones that were killed by an um, explosion. Oh, yeah. Like that? Yeah. I can go boom in here. Please don't go boom. No, I, want to I try not to see. That's not too bad. You just have to worry about if anybody who, who's warning before I, anything like that happens. Uh, if you have seizures... As a possibility, it could trigger them. But epileptic seizures, you know, if you're sensitive to the light patterns, uh, those explosions can potentially. We'll try to avoid those. I will try my best to avoid them. Just in general, games like this do have a lot of bright, flashy colors. Like this. Nice. Meteor. Wow. Gotta love those gold rushes. Oop. Don't want you to get that, right? No, toxic waste. Oop. I hate when that happens. There's a little glitch right there. It should be just like the other one. But you don't see it. Exactly. You think you'll be stuck? Jetfish. Fix that, my goodness. Lobfish. Mm. The human-faced fish. Hey, Thresher. Come here. Is that another player? Nope. NPC. It just, it tries to kill me. All other sharks in this game will try to kill me. Makes sense. What's your level now? Uh, I don't know. I'm dying though. And I died. Finished, I get it. Huh. There's a lot of puns with every death. Huh. I kid you not. Okay, now I'm level two. Nice. <clears throat> Anyways, on to the... Review. Review. Movie starts out pretty good. Jason Statham is trying to say what? He's a rescue diver. Yeah. At the time, um, with the with the U.S. Navy. And he has a he has a sub with his crew. It's a, it's a small rescue sub, yeah. And he's rescuing this, I guess. It's a uh, Navy submarine. It was a naval submarine, rather large one. I don't know what class it was. It was nuclear though. It was a nuclear sub though. So. He goes down there with his crew. He's in the sub. He's got a guy. Who gets himself knocked out. Yeah. No, actually, no, he's just really, he's really hurt, so he's having to carry him around. True, I think his leg was gashed up. Yeah, he, it was damage to his leg, so he does, does eventually get him into the, into the sub. But he, the sub gets attacked by something. And gets getting hit. Something big enough to crush, crush the, side. the side of this nuclear sub. Yeah, nuclear subs aren't weak. No, I've been inside one. They are huge, they are thick-walled, and it takes a lot of pressure in order to do that. Yeah, a lot of damage. So, he gets him and the guy back to the rescue sub. They are able to save most of the people. There are two others left behind that two, were... There were two other rescue divers who were left behind. He um, made the choice to leave them behind. In order to save as many people as he could, which is, a, in any situation, that's a very tough decision. It's very hard. Mm -hmm. And then you have to live with that decision for the rest of your life. Right. And then it skips to... Years later. What, what five years, wasn't it? About five years, About yeah. five years, and this... Financier coming. Castle. <laughs> nice. You really covered that up really well, didn't you? Most of the financiers in movies like that are assholes, so yeah, true. nothing really. True, true. This is surprising there. Anyways, oh yeah, nice Nike reference when you get him out of the play and see the Nike shoes. Yes, yes. Very product pr product placement on that one. Oh yeah. Thank That's you. the only piece though. I think I saw was was the Nike. Shoes. Shoes, that was it. Really, yeah, I think Everything was. else was pretty much, they stayed away from products. 
place that we noticed. Yeah. Unless they hit Coke. Coke, yeah, but that's kind of common. And then, of course, maybe whatever beer he was drinking. Even a green, green bottle could be a high and then I don't know. It probably was a Heine. Anyways, they go to this platform. It looked like an oil platform, mostly. That's what we thought at first. Well, it kind of looked like a uh, kind of a different version of an oil platform. Maybe it a, probably was an oil rig at one time. It was probably a repurposed yeah. one. So the helicopter guy, dude, what was his name again? Which one? The financier. I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't care. <laughs> Okay, we'll just call him Tom. Or asshole. <laughs> yeah, but again, Tom will work. Good grief. Uh, his buddy, though, was named Mick. Yeah. And, of course, you had the doctor who was, um, was not in the book, by the way. Yeah. A lot of the characters in the movie weren't in the book. But that's not a bad thing. It's not thing. a bad thing. That's fine. It's a nice little adaptation. Change things up. The author um, was all for it, so... From what I remember, he, he was involved pretty decently within the movie. Or in the production of the movie. Anyways. So, what was the doctor's name? I have no idea. Okay, hold on. <laughs> She's gonna look it up. Uh, hold on. Google. But there was one character that was actually supposed to die in the movie, in the book, that did die in the book, but didn't die in the movie, which kind of annoyed me a little. The ex-wife. Yeah, but she wasn't that... She was actually a journalist in the book. And she went diving in that gla in that acrylic cylinder. Uh, Meg got a hook and Meg killed her. Yeah. The Meg actually broke the cylinder and uh, killed her. Okay. Okay, Dr. Minwei Shang? Zhang. Zhang. Okay, the doctor. And then, okay, what is the finance? Oh, okay, who's... Did they even say his name? Yeah. Jack. Okay. I think that's it. Is it Jack? Okay, hold on, flat time. Yep, Jack. He's a billionaire. <laughs> Obviously. No wonder he's a dick. No kidding. Anyways. They are, uh, exploring, you get invested in this, uh... Bi it's basically a, mo a biology lab where they can actually study the animals in their natural habitat without having to worry about submersibles and all that other crap to start Kind of things. a Subnautica feel to it. It did. It, it had a total Subnautica feel to it. But you will get on the channel eventually. I'm. It's on my Xbox One, and I still haven't gotten the capture card hooked up. Ooh, that's cool. Golden shark. Will it kill you? No, nope, I'm killing it. For coins. Leave me alone. What was that? The diver who wants to kill me. Why? Everything in here wants to kill me. Only time I can hit boomers. Oh, shoot. Come here. Come here. I need to eat you. All of you. So the more you eat, the your health gets better. The, ah, uh, crap, I need a bigger shark. Well, it, it's what heals me up. I'm starving, so... Oh, shit. I died in the slip... In the... Dead shark. Limp shark. Well, anyway, so they are... Testing out this new, uh... This theory that... The Mariana tw Trench is actually deeper than it actually is. Than what they thought. Yeah. Uh, because the, the apparently there's a salt layer. Or a the hydrate layer, layer yeah. that was... Made it look like the bottom. Yeah. But it wasn't actually the bottom. So, they have this high-tech submersible, which doesn't really have any windows. It has cameras all around to simulate what you can see. It's so. got a couple windows, but most of it's cameras. Most of it's cameras, so you can't less flash the better when it comes to that kind of stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, you got a, a window about that big to yeah. stare out, and that's about it. Yeah, I mean, you can take a the Titanic. Yeah. They had this itty-bitty window, and they're like, I can see the Titanic! Where? Move your ass over! <laughs> Nice. It is a subject matter that is still touchy at times. No, I'm just saying them being down in the sub, yeah. that's the way they're acting. True. Okay, anyways, they go down. There's... What's her name? Oh, the... Wife. The ex-wife? Yeah. Well, Statham's character's name is Jonas Taylor in this one. Lori. So, okay, Lori was, then... the pre was the pilot for this mission. 
And then we have uh, uh, Toshi, which is actually Toshi. Toshi is from uh, the guy from Misa, Hero. Masa. Masi Oka. Thank you. He's from Heroes, and I think he was in. A, oh yeah, Get Smart. He was in that too. Yep. Wait, have you seen Get Smart? Not know. yet. It's on Netflix. We'll watch it. Going with uh, yeah. I know it had The Rock and it and um, uh, Steve Carell, I think. And Anne Hathaway. Yeah. Anyways, on subject matter, and then some guy called The Wall, which I can't even pronounce his name. I'm not even gonna try. Olufsen is all I can get from his last name. <laughs> okay, we'll just call him the wall. Let's see about that. So they're in the sub. They're going down. They just call him wall in the movie. I remember. Yeah, wall. They the wall, wall. Wall. So they go down. They get down to the the, the brine layer. Mm-hmm. And they, they go through. They go through. Of course, the whole sex joke that was going on with insertion. Please, that was a little forced, wasn't it? Oh, it was totally forced, but it was still laughing my butt off. Sure, I did laugh at all, too. And then even she did too. Yeah, because they started, and of course her reaction when they started j laughing when she first said it was, really guys, you have to make this all sexual? Yeah, I mean, I can get it. Only female in the crew. True. Besides the, me like what, mechanic, engineer? Yeah. Which I and then the doctor's daughter, which she has a daughter and she's not in, in a relationship, so you know not to go there. So they go down. They start uh, dropping the uh, lights so they can see. Mm -hmm. Bad idea. So they turn around and light up the lights so they can see everything. Lots of lots, lots of uh, volcanic vents, stuff like that. All kinds of fish and, and jellies and come here. <laughs> and anyways, so they are looking around and they notice something coming towards them. A proximity alert, basically. Yes. Sonar was telling them, there's something big heading right towards you guys. And then they got hit. No idea at the time. And then... It hits them hard enough to basically knock out power and, and send them to the bottom. They, the last bit of video that the, the, the lab saw was them saying that Jonas was right. No, it was her say, saying, saying yeah, Jonas, Jonas was, was right. oh my god, Jonas was right. And that's it. And then they have about what? 18 hours at the time of air. So they go find Jonas, who's Until in they Thailand. Turn the on what? Until they turn the lights what? on. Yeah, again. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're, we're getting there, honey. So they go find Jonas, who's in Thailand. He's golden too. <laughs> I had to. He was trying to kill me. That was pretty cool, though. Oh, we can get leveled up. Yep. Back to the story. So, they find jo Jonas in Thailand. Side note that there is a bit of a song that is there that is uh, quite catchy. Yes, it is a, a uh, sound like a Korean or... Chinese version. Or Mandarin version of Hey Mickey. And, oh dear lord, we could, I couldn't <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> Me neither. It was awesome. It was like, oh no, not this song. Any song but this song. In truth be told, I had just read a, a, a Facebook post before I met up with him that said, they had the lyrics, like, and it said at the bottom, I bet you sang that song in your head, didn't you? <laughs> it's like, yeah. A little bit. You sing it a bit. <laughs> I mean, it's a catchy song. I mean, it is. Ooh, lots of fifties. On an on angelfish. Mm hmm. And they're all dead angelfish. Yeah, well... In Sharky's stomach. <laughs> yes, I keep going back to the same areas. But you know where the gold is. I know where the gold is. I know, oh, yes, Mega. Mega is good. You know why? Why? Mega allows me to eat anything. Oh, wait, it's not Mega. It's just another gold rush. Nice. Hey! Stop it! Stop it! So, anyway... The, the story actually comes back in and he is passed out, not really passed out, but he is drunk and, and sleeping it off, kind of. And then, uh, what was his name? Uh, I think, uh, Mac. Mac, that's Mac it. Mac came in. Yeah. Along with the doctor. Yeah. And, and uh, they were pit, they were basically telling him that 
you're going to want to see this. Yeah. It, it, at first, he kept on saying that there was no way in hell they were going to get him to help them. Yeah. Until oh. he hears the audio and sees the video. You know, I was right. Hmm. I was so right. Remember I said he looked familiar? Mac? Yeah. You want to know why? Hmm. <laughs> he was in Last Airbender. The uncle? No. Horse. Hmm. Fire Lord Orzai. Orza Ozai? Ozai, yeah. Fire Lord Ozai. No Ugh. wonder he looks familiar. I only watched the tail end of that movie, so... I, I kind of watched the NC review. Back when NC was good. I, I couldn't. Oh, do you want to know what he's picking on a dead horse now? Which one? Team Titans. Team Titans go. Oh. It's a dead horse. Why? Oh, well, he really should have gotten sued. Yeah, he should have, but whatever. Anyways. Side note. <sighs> what? Okay, I saw Avatar 2 and I thought it was... Someone was bringing that enough to actually do that again. No, it's Avatar 2, Avatar... Yeah, the Avatar movie, not Avatar The Last Airbender. No, Avatar with the, with the blue yeah, eyes. Yeah, the, the Avatar movie. Yeah, which basically is a knockoff of Dances with Wolves, Pocahontas, uh... Take your pick. Back on track. <laughs> Let's get back on track. <laughs> sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. We are easily distracted. You guys should know this by now. Anyways, so... They convince him to come back. They go to the marine facility where they neglect to tell him that the one of his old crew members, a doctor, was there. Until he shows up. <laughs> it's like... Basically, fuck you. <laughs> and, you know, he sought to get his medical exam. So he was fine. fine. <laughs> Basically, Jason... Just like I was last time you examined me. <laughs> his exact words, actually. And down the shark's throat again. Yeah. Anyways. So he goes... And checks out the sub. <laughs> and they meet. He meets the uh, little, the little girl. Uh, Yin. Su Yin, yeah. Su Yin's daughter. Mei Ling. Yeah. Mei Ling. Mei Ling, yeah. Mei. We'll just call her Mei. Easy enough. Yeah. Anyways, he meets Mei because she's playing in the sub, which I I was surprised they were in there. Well. She is the daughter of a yeah, but that's biologist. my tech. They, they have special. They have special locks. Yes, she can turn activate stuff, but she can't actually get the darn thing to move. True, but it's still kind of dangerous. Anyways, back to, on point. She meets her. He calls. Her, she calls him crazy, which I get. Yeah, Everyone she, thought he was crazy with the sub. They did. For a bit, and that. He, She's gonna re he's gonna rescue the crew and her mom who had snuck and off. He also promised that he would bring Mr. Bubbles, aka the sub, back in one piece. He did. He did. He managed to do he kept his word on that one. Yep, and the mom, who had snuck off while they were away to try and rescue the Using sub. Using a sub that was called an Abyss Glider. Which is pretty pretty cool looking. It was It was. That's actually the same design the similar design they had in the book. So That's pretty nice to see. It was quite high tech. Oh look, there's a you. Yeah, because if you spell out hungry, you get into mega mode, which is great. Automatic. Watch out for the boomer. Uh, it's kind of like when you play when you play uh, big boomers. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of like when you play uh, bubble bottle, and you spell extend, you get an extra life. Yeah. Come here. Come back here. Come here. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. <laughs> Okay, so the mom has gone down. Be Jace because uh, they had turned on, accidentally turned on the lights again, and draw drew whatever it was back, back to them and, and attacked. And they lost more hair. Air. Their air started bleeding out faster. And not to mention, Lori got stabbed by a screwdriver. Yeah, so things and became Jack. critical. Yeah, quite fast. So he, uh... Nope. Lionfish. No, no. Poisonous. Very poisonous for now. I know... That lionfish are poisonous. I said for now because this sh shark can't eat lionfish. Yet. No, other shark. The shark isn't the right one for that. Come here. Come here. I just want to. I just want to nibble on you. There we go. Mega mode. This is why I like mega. I can eat anything. Come here. Even bombs. 
Get the big bombs. Too nope. late. Too late. <laughs> I, I missed my chance. Oh well. I do. Poofer. Well, anyway, so he goes down. And it, he goes down quite quickly, quicker than he should. Oh yeah, he was ri he was risking quite a lot by diving that quickly. So he goes down, and while he's diving, the Shuyin gets to gets to it first. So and she, then she gets attacked. She gets attacked not by what well, attacked the other sub. She gets attacked by a giant squid. And then the squid gets attacked. The squid dies. Yeah, we don't see what kills it yet. Shuyin does, and it's a shark. A uh, big ass shark. A.K.A. Carcaradon Megalodon. Yeah, it's a, it's a Megalodon, and uh... And you, that's, of course, when the line from the preview comes in from Statham. It's Megalodon. Uh, I can't do his voice very well, sorry guys. Very close, though. Very nice. So, they... He knows to turn off the lights. He tells her to turn off the lights, but her switch is, isn't working, so basically the... she has to bit, bug out. And quick. So she pops her uh, reservoirs that then skyrockets back to the surface, which is very dangerous, by the way. Does alcohol bends too? And that is uh, lethal. Yeah. Or can be lethal if you don't get depressurized soon enough. So she goes back up. Come here. She manages to get back up. Um, and then, uh... Oh, wow. Big turtles. How are you alive? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this thing's not phys physics, uh... Friendly. Friendly. So after they reveal the Megalodon... He, uh, gets down there and is able to, uh... He manages to rescue them, so long oh, story short for that one. Well, not all of them. Well, except for Toshi. Toshi actually sacri- because the, uh, Meg was on the, the rescue craft. It was gonna attack the rescue craft and pretty much he, kill them all. He basically l put the note he'd been writing to his wife in his- in the- in Wall's pocket and pu pushed him into the rescue ship before okay. locking the door. After they- he- they disconnected, he, uh, turned on the lights and basically to draw the Meg over, and it, it killed him. But he saved all their lives. He did it himself. It wasn't uh, Jonas's fault this time. So Although, uh... She did blame him at first. She did blame him, but, but she, she did realize her mistake, and oh, ouch. Skewered. Yeah. I, well, it was... She was emotional. She was very emotional at that time. It's understandable. So, wow, nice. Necklace, yay! Should have enough coins for that now. Uh, after he gets back on board, he's been blamed. All the others are safe for now. And then they saw. Then, of course, the little girl is running around with this little programmable wait, wait, ball. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. They actually believe him now that they have footage. Yeah, now they have proof that. Oh, hey! Yeah, sorry. You were actually right. We were just even assholes. Doc... Yeah, even the doctor said, I'm, I'm sorry. The doctor. Manned up and apologized. But you don't see any movies like that. No, you don't. You usually see uh, the doctor being a royal dick still. Yeah, I mean, he was still kind of standoffish a little bit, but he was a lot better. So, then, uh, yeah, now the little girl. Little girl is running around with a little uh, program programmable light up ball. She got lights on her shoes. Poor girl. She goes into uh, one of the kind of restricted area. But it has you can tell. acrylic tubing, so you can see all around. Mm -hmm. And while she's sitting there, um, getting her ball, the shark, of course, comes in, looming up from the distance, and uh, chomps down on the, the 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 tube. Luckily, the tube was strong enough. She's fine. She screams. She screams. Her mother and, and Statham go run. Or Jonas and go run. And Mac comes too. Mac comes too, because he's cute. He's uh, worried. He was there as well, so. Yeah. Um, they find her. 
They see that the teeth, they thought that they had left the Megalodon behind in the trench. Nope. Because Megalodon wasn't supposed to go above that... That layer. That layer was there to keep them down there. Yeah. So, it, it got out when they burst through. Mm-hmm. So... Actually, the, it got out because it had impacted with one of the thermal vents down there, and when that happened, it released a lot of hot water, which gave it a highway straight to the surface. Luckily, it didn't last for too long. So. No, it evened out, and so they see that one of them... At least. Yeah. At least one made it to the surface. And then they make a note that... This is a problem. <laughs> three ships go down. Fast. Too fast. Way right. too fast. And to then, anything other than a shark. Then a, an attack. Uh, they go to rest to try and rescue any survivors. There's not a single one. They were uh, a bunch of illegal thinners. They were shark finning. So, kind of deserved it, though. Yeah, and basically that was kind of the line they brought up, was that the Meg basically evened things out of it by taking them out. Um... So, while they're there, they thought, oh no, we should trink it, study it. It's like... And everybody else is saying, no, kill it! <laughs> it's like, so... We can't really trank a shark, though. True. But they got the right idea to, to track it. And guess which person's idea it was. It wasn't any of theirs. No. It was the idiot billionaire. Who said, don't y'all walk... Don't, don't all y'all watch shark, shark Week? And that commercial, that part of the commercial was aired during Shark Week. Of course it was. More About a week or so prior to the release. I'm surprised they didn't show that, that uh, Megalodon on a... Uh... Oh, uh, the, the mockumentaries? Yes, about the Megalodon. They actually were pretty cool, and they were well, well founded in science. But at the same time, they were mockumentaries. Oh, what, what about the mermaid one? Oh, that was bad. That was no. bad. <laughs> That was very stupid. They, they could have just stopped with the Meg, because that the possibility of the Meg actually still existing is there. It's unlikely, but it's still there. Oh, you need the, you need the book about the lock. Yes, I forgot to bring that with you. Okay. Anyways, so they, they Stephen goes out, because he's not aggressive to single people. He's the only one who figured, hey, or actually, uh, Max said, that one of his lines was, if if, are you sure? Because I'll go for you if, if you don't want to go. It's like, no, I'm good. Good, because I was lying. <laughs> and one of the guys can't swim. Guess which guy? Unfortunately, nationality. Yeah, we're not saying who, but you can probably guess. You can guess. Very cliche. Very cliche, and partly because um, he lives and works on the ocean. <laughs> you should know how to swim. Or at least tread water. Yes, at the very least. I don't think he dies, though. No, he doesn't. L yeah, luckily he doesn't die in that movie, which was kind of nice. No, no, remember, there are two others of that nationality at the beginning that die. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, Emily at work pointed that out to me. Uh, yeah, but... But the main, main but guy the, died. The one that we actually know of and we, we kind of really kind of got attached to. Didn't die. Didn't die, so we're good. So, anyways, they, uh... Basically, Jason saves them and says, basically, fate. fate. Yeah, fate. So he's able to tag it, but... Then they start reeling him in. Big mistake. It starts, he gets reeled in too fast, and that attracts the Meg's attention. He does manage to, to nail it right in the fin, though. Yeah, so, so as he's pulling in, they, they realize, oh. Actually, the, the doctor's daughter who is a marine biologist and studies sharks. Yeah. Is the one like, wait, no, 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 don't, don't, don't vibrate. Too late. Too late. So he starts swimming and then, uh... Doesn't one of them use, make a reference to, uh, Dory? Yeah, and then... Just keep swimming? Yeah, so he's swimming out there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was Statham saying, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we're losing it we're losing it in our seats, laughing our butts <laughs> off at that one. And no one else was. Cause I don't think anybody else got it. I'm surprised. Considering the fact there were kids in the theater! Yeah, what, six, seven? At least. Come here. Poor dolphins. Well, I have to kill him. I know. There. 
Well, they look weird too. They do. There we go. New shark. Sweet. Thresher. And he smashed the bone bone uh, blockades. With the thresher. Yep. No jellies. No, no jellies. Sweet. You deserve that one. I forgot how many bombs are in this area. Ow, ow. No, I want those. Damn it. You have to go back. Well, anyways, he's, they get him back. They do get him back, but then the, after they start tracking the shark, they have an issue. They have a few issues. Um, Shark's a lot smarter than they thought. Yeah. So they decide to just to go ahead and kill it. Yeah, that's when the the acrylic uh, shark tank comes in, or shark um, cage comes in. And it's not likely to break. Oh, it doesn't break. It does not break. Unlike in no. the um, in the book, the one in the book totally broke. Oh. And the chick inside died because the mag ate her. Well, it would have been better if it broke, but... Oh. I just got lucky. Yep. Yeah, but for the for the story, it was fine. So, she gets in the cage. The doctor's daughter. She gets in the and cage. And then the doctor, the medical doctor, they were talking about how much they should uh, use to... How much it would take to kill it. So they were discuss discussing it, it's like, well, it takes 20 cc's to kill a whale. And he just said, we're just gonna use the whole damn bottle. Makes sense. And it's a bottle about yay big, about yay round, so it's a big honking bottle. Yeah. <laughs> of this compound, I forgot what it was. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter, it's, it's it something strong enough to kill a shark. So she's the only one that decides to go get it, because... She understands all the weak points of the shark, and of course, while the shark is trying to eat her, she does manage to, to spear it. But the cage in the mouth. won't break. Cage won't break. It's choking on it. If it passes out, she'll go straight to the bottom with it because it's it, pulling it, on. It the... did get te the tether to the to the ship broke. So, so Sapo has he to... has to go diving down to, to save her. He manages to. Shark dies. They haul it up on on board. Actually, no. They, they while it's dying, they catch it. With they the manage other. to catch. They set basically a noose trap on it, and she's of course knocked out because of air. She lost lot lack of air. Um, and the noose trap stops the shark at the right moment to keep from snapping on them. Yeah, I swear, Jason Statham almost lost his foot. Yeah, pretty close. He almost lost his fin. Um, yeah. So, then he goes to, uh, they resuscitate her. She's fine. She wakes up on the ship. The shark is dead, hanging up like any normal shark photo where the tail's up in the air, mouth on the ground kind of deal. That was kind of... Deck on the ship, ship. But the ship was listing to one side because of how heavy the damn thing was. So they're laughing, joking. But Statham was talking to the doctor that the... Teeth marks on the sub don't match. They don't match up with the uh, with the the marks from the acrylic. The, the acrylic. So as it turns out, there is a second Meg. It comes jumping up, swallowing after. Well, during while they were joking around, the they wall. scared the wall into the water. He fell into the water while he's joking around down there. Meg, the second Meg comes up, swallows him, and takes a big old chunk out of the dead Meg. And flips the boat. And flips the boat. Which, in the process of doing that, an uh, outboard motor hits the doc's head, the other, the scienti scientist doctor's head, and he winds up later on dying. Which, yeah. If you get hit in the head with something like that, you can die. Yeah. And then. Then the medical, medical doctor died too? Yeah, he did. He sacrificed before that. The, the scientist doctor dies. He sacrifices himself to save the uh, mechanic. The mechanic, who was out further than him, so he, he called... distracted the shark, called it to him, basically. Yeah. 
basically saying, come get me. And he saves her. He, he, he sacrificed his life for hers. That just makes it kind of... It makes you feel a little bad for him. Because he was a jackass. He was a movie. jackass at times, but turned out he actually was kind of a decent guy. Yeah. So, they call him for help. Well, no, wait. Uh, the it was the... Mac, the engineer... Mac, Mac was calling for help, but it was the financier who was the one who got the help. And they got... They, the guys were shooting at it with a gun, and yes, it kept the shark off their asses. Until they got back to the research Until facility. Until they got back to the research facility. Of course, the, doc, the other doctor dies en route. And then... Shuyin has to explain to Mei what happened, mm -hmm. and... Um... She's hate taking part, of course. As a child would. Doesn't quite understand. No. And then, uh... Lori and Statham talk for a bit. And everybody's shipping State, uh, Jonas and Suyin. Which is cute. Which is hilarious. Especially when the little girl comes walking in and tells him that her, her mother likes him. <laughs> it was cute. <laughs> it's great. Especially with the eye wiggle. The eye wiggle was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, she was doing like a severe eye wiggle to it. Well, it's eight year old. They it's, do they're have very good at it. Yes, they are. So, anyways, after that, they all gather in the main computer room, mm -hmm. research facility area, and the financier gives this gives this speech that kind of makes you feel like, well, maybe he's not such a jackass after all. That he called in... That he called in all these other countries. They to are let them on know. the... Let, to let them know. That way they're all on... They're all set and safe. And, and our rescue boat that'll be coming the next day. Yeah. The rescue ship was was coming. Yeah. He leaves on his helicopter. Oh! <laughs> Turns out... He's an asshole! He's more of an asshole than we thought! <laughs> He didn't want any uh, lawsuits, so he decided to try and take care of the Meg himself. In the process of tracking the Meg, though, he accidentally kills a whale. Yeah. Which the Meg was hunting, because Megalodon actually did hunt whales. So... <laughs> so, well, speaking of which, there were two early on. There were a couple whales, uh, a couple Mama, gray whales, baby. Mama and Baby, that were... I thought uh, you were blue. No, they were gray. Okay. Or mama, humpbacks, actually. They yeah, were humpbacks. humpbacks. Uh, a mama and baby. Let's just say it does not end well. Especially when the Meg bursts onto the scene. The little one. The little Meg. The the little whale is, uh, let's just say, no more. It was not a pretty scene. No. She jumped. She totally jumped. I did. I admit it. But I'm not the baby you, whale. I know. I felt bad for it, but it's like, oh, holy shit! And then, so... So he 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 of course takes it on realizes the... that they just killed a whale. After they had set, they thought they'd killed the shark. I could tell it was a whale from the very beginning when they saw the outline from the, the helicopter that yeah, was dropping too. the depth charges. Me too. So when he gets the, the little boat that he's in over to it, he tells one of the guys on there to get out, grab a couple teeth, keep one for himself, keep one for himself, and the guy comes back. Well, there's no teeth on this thing. I, and then he says, I think we killed a whale. Wait, I, I think we killed a whale. And then all of a sudden, he realizes the Meg is right beneath them. And so he yells at the guys to he go. He yells to them to go. They gun it. He falls out the back of the boat. Only one, where, only one place to go at that point. Towards the dead whale. So he starts climbing the whale. Try, no, he, start, he climbs like halfway up in order to be, feel safe. Yeah. Meg comes sliding in. You think he's gonna get gone? You think he's gone? And then all of a sudden you see this just a chunk next to him, and you're like, "Well, hell!" <laughs> and then, then you see the fin again. And but you're like, and he's like, "Oh, thank God, arm up here on the sh on the whale, and all that's left is his arm, because the Meg got him. Yeah, finally got him. So they go back to the research facility, and, and they find out, oh, before it does any maybe more damage." So, say, and it's heading towards a, a certain area in China that is heavily populated, and um, there's a big party going on out there at the time. Uh -huh, summer. So, anyways, they uh, commandeer the rescue boat. Mm -hmm. They got the gliders on there, so they figure out how to take care of the shark. Big boom. Big boom. In little package. Yeah. So that's what their plan is. 
They have a tracker on the Big Meg, too. They do. They did manage to pull that off. Yeah, they did. They did. So, they're watching it. Luckily, not many people died. Well, quite a few people did die during the whole. So, he's a... Wow. Nice. That was lasting a long time. That's what I say, wow. <laughs> what? It sounds like the Murlocs from World of Warcraft. You've heard World of Warcraft Murlocs before, haven't you? I, yeah, I think I have. You've had me listen to them. No, I haven't showed you this. No, I've seen video. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyways. They go, they, you see the big party scene. You see a, a boat, a wedding on a boat, or a yacht. And you see a pup a in the water. Yorkie. A little Yorkie. So a little Yorkie. A little Yorkie, and you're like, oh no, not the Yorkie. Not the poor Yorkie. It doesn't go after the Yorkie. It heads towards the Yorkie, though. And then he sees the big crowd. And then the, the crowd attracts him, and so he goes, rather her, that's supposed to be her, female. Her. So, oh yeah, it's a... Yeah, that's a that's a wonderful right door want run there. No stabby. I just missed the stabby. Yeah. Can you break that? Yes, I can. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so, anyways. While he's swimming around, unbeknownst to everyone at the little Bay Harbor area. Until it's too late. Too late. His, uh, tracker gets knocked off. Mm-hmm. But, at that point, it doesn't really matter. They know where it's going. They know what it's about to do. Right. So, yeah, you really want to go towards the water with the shark, honey. Flying fish! Get did, back here! Did he just say, I don't want to die? Yes, he does. They, a lot of them say that. Actually, it's only the guys that say that. What did the girls say? They just scream. Of course. Fresh. Ow. No! Dead fish. So, they get to, uh, nice. Yep, three levels. <laughs> Bunny tail. Yeah, it looks stupid. I wanna see. So they get to they release the They release the buoy mm -hmm. that is calling to the shark because it has whale noises. Yeah, so they're trying to save as many people as they can. Unfortunately for the guy in the uh, inflatable ball that was running across the top of the water, um yeah, that didn't end well for him. All you hear is a a pop kind of squeak the same sound you'll hear in this one whenever I get him to eat a puffer fish. Yeah, pretty much. And then, so, they call the, the, me the Megalodon. Meg, Meg eats the buoy. <laughs> yeah. Not surprising. No, not surprising at all. So, they got its attention. They mm -hmm. started tracking it with lights. Lights, movement. movement, sound, all kinds of stuff to keep it around. And uh, while that's going on, Newscopters show up. The problem with that, the newscopters weren't paying attention to each other. The pilots were not paying attention. <laughs> Next thing you know, peace is everywhere. And one helicopter goes right towards the boat. So everyone has to jump off the big boat. Scatter! And so some people go in the... Everyone goes in the water. Yep. Shuyan and Jonas were in the two little glider subs attracting the shark. They see that... Jonas says, okay, I got this, I got this. You can go take care of your daughter and everyone. You go save your daughter. Yeah. And the guy who can't swim that is that the daughter is telling him, you have a life vest on, you are fine. Yeah, eight-year-old. Eight when an eight-year-old is berating an adult like that, that is hilarious. So, she goes up. He, he of course, is panicking, thinking the shark is coming up. So, Jonas goes through the... the the reason at what damages the sub 
He damages, he hits the side of the sub, which causes a nice little piece of metal to stick off the side. That so, comes in later. He gets that, so, um, she, yeah, yeah, she comes back, right? She tries to help him, uh, but she misses with her missile, and then he tries with his, but it won't. It doesn't unlock, so he realizes that uh, he's going to have to try something a little different. So he actually comes right at the Meg. After getting it to chase him for a bit, he comes right at, right towards it. and Goes down, turns on the side where the metal's sticking out, and practically guts it. Yeah. The only thing is, during the process, the Meg does get a hold of his ship, breaks it into itty-bitty pieces. Um, and he stabs it in line with a harpoon. He grabs the harpoon, stabs it through... Actually, it wasn't the harp... Not really a harpoon. It was like a piece from the sub. Yeah, like a spear of some sort. It was a nice, long metal piece. And he... he stabs it right through the eye. And into the brain. Yeah. Killing. Or severely ki Nearly killing the, the Meg to the point in which that all the other sharks in the area say, Feeding Frenzy! Yep. Which was actually a very satisf satisfying way to kill the Meg. Better than the book. The books one actually was a little was pretty epic too, but the uh, this one was satisfying enough. Then I was we, uh, I was discussing it with my friend Emily at work. Uh huh. The reason they I now remember why they decided to change that. Too reminiscent of Jaws. No 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 no. Sharknado. Uh yeah, because dude does kill it from the inside, doesn't he? The chainsaw. Yeah. I can totally see why they changed it. I I can understand. I I respect that decision. If Sharknado had never happened, we wouldn't have this issue. They could have done the proper ending, which was pretty badass. Okay, now that we really kind of just hashed out the story and all. All in all, as the one who actually read the book beforehand, I was satisfied with the way that they did the movie. It, yes. it wasn't perfect. No, I wasn't expecting perfection because it's a Hollywood adaptation of a book. Nothing's really that perfect when it comes to that. No, it's very rare. The only one that ever did well was uh, for Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah. That one was spot on. Second one was not, but we'll second one wasn't. But that's that's different. That's another that's another video. Yeah. But uh, oh look, he goes through there now. Nope. Need a bigger shark for that one. Oh, uh, so you can break through the bone barrier. Some of them. Ah. Uh, There's more than one. Okay, so. Hot fish. Hot fish. Oh, nice! You got the end. You're so close. Safe. So, as someone who has not seen read the, the book, book at all, I thought it was good, yet... From someone who wants to, you know, do film reviews, there were some issues. There were. One, the pacing. Mm -hmm. It was way too quick. They could have done a lot more. They only, they, a lot of this fell into about a... About an a almost two hours. Just under two hours. They could have stretched out to probably... Two and a half. Two and a half, maybe two minutes and 45. I mean, two hours and 45 minutes. They could have easily done a three-hour movie. They could have done that. There was so much material they could have done. I can understand being a shark movie that people probably wouldn't want to see a three-hour shark movie. I get it. I would. <laughs> I know you would. But I could also see that it would probably be a good idea to, uh... At least add a bit more. The father, again, spoiler, sorry. The father dying in after that boat scene didn't did not have a much as much impact as we did not see their relationship. Not really. It was very. It was nice. They touched on it. They didn't really cover it. True, but they could have covered it a tad bit more, just a little bit more time. Well, again, it's hard to cover characters that weren't in the book. True. But again. It was just... Oh, also, the pacing with the... The rescues and... The shark attacks were good. Don't get me wrong. But they could have gotten a little bit more suspenseful. Just a hair. But that might be reminiscent of Jaws. Yeah. Jaws was very suspenseful. I had no problem with that. Just the pacing was slow in areas and then very quick in others. They didn't need to do that, but whatever. No. Now, as the one who actually read the book, there were a lot of areas that they they changed things. They changed things they didn't need to change. Don't get me wrong, as I said, for what it was, it was a good movie. 
but the areas they changed things that really irritated me was location. Yeah. And I understand why they did it. Um, originally, this movie take the book takes place in off the coast of California, and so it's kind of been done a lot. So yeah, I get it. I understand why. But yeah. at the same time, all the things they got wrong kind of irritated me, but they weren't as big of an irritation as it could have been. That's true. They did a... with what they had, and the way they changed things, I, I was satisfied. All in all, personally, it was a good movie. It was. I get why they changed stuff. Even I could tell what was changed, and I didn't even read the book. Or he didn't give me much for spoilers. I tried not to spoil too much. Well, all in all, it wasn't a bad movie I recommend, but probably early morning movies. Yay, I unlocked fishies! Oh, and uh, we saw it in 3D. Yeah. Guess what? 3D sucked! <laughs> the 3D effects weren't that great. Um, we didn't realize when the tickets were purchased that it was going to be in 3D. So we thought, okay, this is going to be cool. This, this should be okay, and the 3D was... Minimal. Eh. What 3D? I didn't see any 3D. It, it was very, it was very subtle 3D. And when Gentlemen, you're doing, not there. when you're doing a 3D movie, you need to be more bold with it. You need to make sure the shark looks like it's coming out the screen at all times. Every time it comes on screen, it should look like it's about to bite your head off. Maybe this was just. Yeah, it could have been without, could have gone without 3D. It's better without it. Yeah. So if you guys are gonna go see it, even though we kind of pretty much ruined the whole movie for you. <laughs> Still, I recommend. I, I highly recommend it. Plus, we didn't cover everything. We covered just chunks, what we could. What we remember, because we did see it s Saturday? We saw it Saturday. Yeah, saw, we saw it sa Saturday, so it's been about one Last Saturday, so it's been a few days. Yeah, it's been a few days. It's been almost a week. Yeah, and you'll get Mickey stuck in your head, by the way. Yes, you will. You will get that song stuck in your head. What is catchy? It is, unfortunately. Hmm. I don't have the funds for buying the side, my sidekicks. He's very helpful. The ghost Same. shark. Yeah, you don't have much for funds. No. Pardon me. You're fine. So, yeah. Are you a fan of the Jaws type movies? This one does kind of feel a bit like it. But I also highly recommend reading the book. It's not just one book, there's actually a series. Four? Four? There's four or five books in the series so far. Steve Alton is an excellent author. He's the one who wrote the book, and I highly recommend reading any of his other stuff. The Lock is another one that was based, that is the, uh, another theory of what is really in Loch Ness? What is Nessie? What it could be. He's very good about cryptozoology, but at the same time, he does his research to make sure his scientific facts are right before he writes his books. So he's very good. Oh, wow. I did not know this. Hmm. That's who originally purchased the rights to this back who? in the 90s. Who? Disney! Really? Yeah. Disney purchased the rights to a movie that was going to be rated R. Yeah, but it went through development hell and the rights landed in Warner Brothers. Eh, they did okay. Yeah. Disney probably would have done stuck to the book, though. True. Well, that doesn't look terrifying. What? Yeah, that's one of the that's one of the covers. Sequels. Uh huh. So the trench. Yep. Primal waters. Hell's aquarium. Origin. Origins. Night stalkers. Generations and purgatory. Oh, there's a crap mo load more than we thought. Yeah. Well, that was just released. Yeah, it was originally bought by Disney since 1999. Mm -hmm. And it was in 2003 that I'd heard that the, the movie was actually going to be made. Yeah, New Line Cinema was going to make it. Oh, it was going to have Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, he would have been good. At, he would have done really but well. But they canceled the project. They did. They canceled it, which kind of bummed me out. He was going to take it somewhere else. Alton did. Mm-hmm. During that time, he released more. Oh! What? He actually has a radio program. Oh, cool. 
Nice. Or he was on our yellow program. Back in 2016, that he wasn't com confirmed. That John Cena was gonna be in the movie? Yeah. Maybe he got cut out. Maybe he was one of the extras. Maybe. Filmography, I'm looking her up. No, he actually wasn't. Really? Unless he was uncredited. Maybe. Kind of like what happened with uh, Jack Whitehall. True. In Frozen. Right. I feel sorry for that guy. <laughs> we gotta watch that special on Netflix because it was hilarious. Or what about, uh, uh, Daniel Craig? He played a stormtrooper. Oh! <laughs> That's gotta suck! Yeah, well. Oh, no, I'm interested in the books. Yeah. As I said, he's a very good author. If you haven't read any of his books before, I do recommend- Oh, good, I unlocked the Sand Tiger. No, Sand Shark. Oh wow, he has a lot of bucks. Yeah. Okay, Generations is the last book that came out this year. Okay. And next one should be Mad Purgatory, which is 2019. Okay, so that's gonna be the, the next one in the series. The Lock series. There's actually two books. Oh, good. I was hoping. And then other novels. Yeah. What's the sequel? I'm not. I can't pronounce that. Vostok? Vostok. Hmm. Like Vladivostok? Yeah. Then it has. Oh! Like... That's either a. Uh... Is that Stuhuin? That might be Lake Stuhuin. Which is uh, Stussy, which is another. That one's definitely got some major negative uh, legends behind it. Interesting. Well, we'll have to look that up. I definitely have to read the series. I, I, I love my cryptozoology. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm just interested. Oh, you need a... You're almost there. Hungry, right? Oh, wow. You're just chewing down everything. That's the whole point of using the Mega. Oh, oh wow. We're already an hour in. Yeah, we are. Leave me alone, Bull Shark. I don't want to tangle with you. Leave me alone, you big bully. And... We'll be going to Anime Fest this week. Yes, we will. In just a couple days. Uh, on Monday. Yes. I'm gonna be looking for a Moogle for my channel. And I gotta figure out what. I would love to find myself like an anime-style wolf plush or I'm something sure, along I'm those sure lines. I'm sure they have that. They probably do. We're not cosplaying this year. No. Not, 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 none of our costumes are ready. Though he could be one. His costume is easy to get to. Which one? Caboose. Yeah. Caboose on vacation. I just have to find my uh, the shirt. Which is easy enough. Should be. But it's not really an anime, so... But still, people will, will cosplay for anything there. True, they do. I could... Uh, I don't think I can cosplay as anyone, really. I want this air. I can't fit into my Ruby cosplay just yet, so... I mean, I could with the dresses, but I don't have anything that goes with her. We can always switch over to 15 if you want to switch over. Yeah, we'll go ahead and switch over. Okay, we'll be right back. We're gonna we're gonna end this stream here, and we're gonna we're gonna switch. start a new stream. <laughs> 